stuff, people never question what's in it. And welcome. It is March 10th. This is I Said What I Said. Let's dive right in. Ladies, I'm going to be honest with you. We love you. We love you just the way you are. There is somebody for everybody. Please stop playing with your bodies. Florida woman dies hours later after getting laser liposuction. I've lost track of all these procedures you guys are getting, and I don't know why you're getting them. Y'all look good just the way you are. And stop playing like there's not dudes out here hooking up with out-of-shape women. You out here getting, getting tummy tucks, new titties, new booties. We just discussed that last week. There are dudes out here smashing, smashing women that are Built all kinds of funny, all kinds of funny. There's there's a woman out there right now who ass looks like a bag of dirty laundry. And I promise you, she's had sex this week. A lot of sex. Ladies, stop playing with your bodies. We love you. <sighs> Honestly, I like, I, look, between you and I, I like my women slightly out of shape, okay? I said what I said. Shit. Here's someone who doesn't have to, he doesn't have to hook up with slightly out of shape women if he if he doesn't want to. But Chris Brown, Chris Brown, dog, we throwing fans phones now. That's what we're doing. That's what, I'm not even mad at this. I'm not mad at this, Chris. You do, you're doing your thing. You're doing your, your sexy sex appeal, magic mic thing on the young lady. And she's not paying attention. She's too busy on her phone. I don't know if she's looking, she's looking, she's going live, trying to see how many people watching. And you, you, you were a gentleman. You put the phone down at first. Hey, I'm dancing. Enjoy this, baby. But she was, she was too good for you, Chris. And Chris didn't like that. Chris didn't like that energy. He said, you, he grabbed that phone and said, bitch, do you, do you know who I am? Watch the video. Watch the video real quick. Dash your phone. Woo! Absolutely. Absolutely. Just just as I described it, he was as patient as he could be. And to be honest with you, I'm not trying to be a dick. Chris, there was a there was there was a better looking woman out of that crowd. And if you go if you're gonna bring one up there, Chris, start bringing up one of the heavy ones. Bring up a heavy one. She's not pulling her phone out. She's enjoying the moment. Chris, I applaud you. He's the anger management's apparently working slightly because you, you didn't have to throw it. You could have put it in your pocket. But if you did that, we probably wouldn't be talking about this right now. Hey, so Chris, next time, count to 10, count to 10, and then get back to doing your magic mic thing, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get into this next one because it just it just doesn't make sense to me. Cause I have I'm a logical person. But a woman is being, she's being held in jail, waiting for trial. She just so happens to be pregnant. Her argument is she should be free because she's pregnant, because her baby is being illegally detained. I've watched enough shows <laughs> where that baby's an accessory. <laughs> accessory before, during, and after the fact. So that baby, unless that baby can give us some answers... It's interfering with our investigation, so we're gonna keep this baby locked up. This this has to be this this has to be in Florida. I promise you. I didn't know Florida was such a crazy place until a few months ago. <laughs> Sarah Hester Ross told me this. <laughs> Florida is wild. I need to go visit because apparently the law the law is a joke out there because you guys are doing crazy stuff all the time. I'm coming to visit Florida. Show me some shit. Don't take a week off from crazy when I get there. I'm coming, Florida. But <laughs> I don't know what this woman did that's pregnant. But there's a good reason why you probably shouldn't let this baby out. We're going to go to the next topic. Child goes viral for throwing a tantrum in Walmart. This kid tore up everything. Check the video real quick. Baby, give me the permission. Give me the permission. Give me the permission, baby, honey. I will knock that purple shirt off of you. Hear me? Oh my God! I'm <laughs> I'm personally torn because there's somebody who is an advocate for whooping kids' asses when they get out of line. Sometimes you just gotta mind your own business. This kid step stepped up, stepped up to grandma. Wanted 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 some with grandma. Grandma, you need to bring them hands out of retirement. 
and bust this kid's ass. And, and whoever, whoever films these things, I'm gonna say this right now, because we do a, we're doing a lot of videos. Whoever is standing by, if you're a bystander and you're standing there filming, not doing anything, you're part of the problem. You're part of the problem. It, it wouldn't have taken much for you to pick up something and throw it at this kid. You know, they say it takes a village. The whole village should have stomped this little girl out. I bet you she would have never thrown a tantrum again. Grandma grandma apparently has retired them hands. Because I know I, my mom's a grandma. And I, I wish my son would. And if you see my son out in public acting like that, call me. I'll whoop his ass. Don't touch my son. <laughs> I said what I said. Oh. Like I said, I was torn. I was torn about the little girl. And this next topic is why I was torn. Man intervenes in a domestic violence dispute. Fights off boyfriend. Boyfriend shoots the man, shoots the so-called hero. Woman drives off with boyfriend. This is why I say I was torn. Because sometimes you need to mind your fucking business. If they're in public and he's whooping her ass in public, this not the first time she got her ass whooped. <laughs> he's doing it in public now. This dude's got this dude's on a whole nother level. He's graduated to grandmaster of whooping his woman. He don't care who's around, nothing. So, hey, if, I, I get it. I get it. You shouldn't stand by and do nothing. But also, you got to think to yourself, is it worth a trip to the hospital or the cemetery? Fellas. I know you want to be a hero. I know I know your mother raised you a certain type of way. But there's also some of your family that taught you to mind your own fucking business. Don't be in here trying to be no hero that she riding off of him. He going to be getting some head and you getting some stitches. It ain't worth it, fellas. Mind your business. Don't play hero. Call the police. Let them do that shit. I said what I said. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Most importantly, subscribe. Do all the free shit. Don't forget to get your shot straw at takeshotbrand.com. Use my promo code, comediankoycook20. I always forget to stop up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you when I see you.